There are some areas where Labour had to do well to prove they're on the comeback. Buxton is one of those places. <laughs> Labour gained seven seats here, the Conservatives lost six. It's not the runaway victory Labour would have liked, but it's a win for them. Before the election, no single party was in overall control in this area, although Labour did have the majority of seats. And speaking to people in this town, there's definitely a sense of apathy, even weariness, towards the Conservatives. But Labour know that support for them isn't a sure-run thing either. <laughs> there's a lot of apathy here. Keris and Darrell, they decided not to vote this time. Nothing ever comes of what they say anyway in the first place, really, does it? So, yeah. It's a bit sad, though, that, isn't it? Like, it is. Because <laughs> you could take an active part, you could put your cross on the box, you could mm. say, like, I want you in, I want you out. I just don't really think it makes much of a difference. So nothing would have sort of spurred you on to go, oh, you know what, I need to vote? No, not really, to be honest with you, no. So how did you vote? None of the above. I spoiled the paper deliberately. So you got your postal vote, you got your pencil out, and you just wrecked it. To make a point? Yes. And what is that point that you're trying to make? Don't want any of them. But those people who did vote, like Rachel, who's voted for all the main parties in the past, says she wants something new now. Obviously, the current government isn't working as it is. Um, you know, with the cost of living, everything's going up, isn't it? And as a, a parent of a young child as well, I worry about the future and how he's going to grow up. Um, so, yeah, just for change, really. And the voters of Buxton could give us a glimpse of what might happen during a general election. Dawn voted Liberal Democrats this time. I don't like Conservatives at all. I don't think that they are um, thinking about people that are struggling, that have no money, that are really, really struggling on the breadline. And the Labour, I'm a bit disappointed with Keir Starmer. Do you think that would sort of extend to a general election, the way you feel? In a general election, I would feel like voting Labour to get Conservatives out. So it's a bit of a tactical vote. These semi-rural areas have suffered with rising fuel costs and the lack of affordable housing, and the politics here is finely balanced. Nick Martin, Sky News, Buxton.